Welcome to Gospel Truth with Andrew Womack, celebrating 55 years of ministry. We have found so much freedom and truth and the true gospel, the full gospel. Andrew makes it so easy to understand and to grasp. This constant revelation all the time doesn't stop. It is amazing. It is amazing. And now, here's Andrew. Welcome to our Wednesday's broadcast of our Gospel Truth. This week is my final week of talking about a better way to pray. I've been offering this book for five weeks. This is my, this coming Friday will be my last day, so please go to the effort to request this. I tell you, this is one of the most radical things. Most people are not experiencing a lot of victory in their prayer life. They know God exists. They know that He can answer prayer, but the average person doesn't consistently see answers to their prayer, and they just don't know why. This will answer those questions. I promise you, it'll help you. And I've got this in every format that you can imagine. And then this week, I'm talking specifically about what to do when your prayers seem unanswered. Now, this little teaching, this is a booklet that I wrote in just a couple of days uh, a few months ago. We're offering this little booklet as a freebie to you, and this coming Friday is going to be my last day to offer any of these products over the television. So please go to the effort of requesting them. I promise you it would be a blessing to you. So I've already shared in Matthew chapter 7, verses 7 and 8, that when you ask, you receive. That's what Jesus said. He didn't say, if you ask, you might receive, you should receive, some people receive. No, it's if you ask, you receive. If you seek, you find. If you knock, it's open unto you. Everyone that asks, receives. Everyone that seeks, finds. Everyone that knocks, it shall be open unto them. And then in Mark chapter 11, verse 24, it says, whatsoever things you desire, when you pray, believe that you receive them, and you shall in the future have them in a physical form. But you have to believe that you receive before you see it. So the first two days of this week, I've been just trying to amplify on this. And yesterday, I used an example from Daniel chapter 9, where Daniel started praying a prayer in Daniel 9, 4, and he went down through Daniel 9, 19. And I'm just estimating that it took about three minutes for him to pray this prayer. And while he was praying, the angel Gabriel showed up and gave him an answer to his prayer, which was great. But here's the thing that's really intriguing. In verse 23, this is Daniel 9, 23, Gabriel said, at the beginning of thy supplications, the commandment came forth, and I am come to show thee, for thou art greatly beloved. Therefore, understand the matter and consider the vision. So Gabriel said that God gave him a command at the beginning of his prayer, but it took about three minutes for what God commanded Gabriel to do, <clears throat> to come into physical manifestation. And the scripture doesn't tell us what it is, and, and I don't know what it is. You know, I was talking to lady that runs our camera, and, and it's really intriguing. We were talking about, what, what is that? I have no way of knowing. I don't know. But it really changes a lot of things, because I'd say one of the uh, things that religion teaches us is that there are no limitations on God, that if God willed something to happen, then just boom, instantly like that, it happens. That's not what the Word of God teaches. Matter of fact, one of the verses that the Lord used that has just rad radically changed my life, this came to me uh, January the 31st, 2002, out of Psalm 78, 41, and it says that they limited the Holy One of God. You can limit God. God does have limits. I don't think that there are limits in the sense that He isn't all-powerful and almighty, and He could overcome anything, I'm not saying that it's because he doesn't have the power, but he will not use his power against our will, and there are limitations because of his integrity. When he said, like in James 4, 7, submit yourselves therefore unto God, resist the devil and he will flee from you, then that means that if you don't resist, then God is not going to resist the devil for you. So in that sense, you could say, well, God, why don't you do this? 
HE GAVE YOU AUTHORITY AND POWER. YOU HAVE TO DO IT. SO THERE ARE, THERE ARE LIMITATIONS, NOT IN THE SENSE THAT HE'S NOT ALMIGHTY AND POWERFUL AND SOVEREIGN, BUT HE HAS GIVEN US AUTHORITY AND POWER, AND THERE ARE SOME THINGS THAT JUST TAKE A PERIOD OF TIME. MATTER OF FACT, THAT SCRIPTURE I WAS USING IN MARK CHAPTER 11 SHOWS YOU THAT WHEN HE SPOKE TO THE FIG TREE AND CURSED THIS FIG TREE, IT SAYS IN MATTHEW'S ACCOUNT OF THAT, THAT IMMEDIATELY THAT FIG TREE DIED, BUT IT WAS 24 HOURS LATER BEFORE WHAT HAD HAPPENED BELOW THE SURFACE IN AN UNSEEN REALM WAS MANIFEST ABOVE GROUND, AND THEY COULD SEE THAT THE FIG TREE HAD WITHERED AWAY. SO IN THAT SAME WAY, GOD ALWAYS ANSWERS. WHEN YOU ASK, YOU RECEIVE. YOU HAVE TO BELIEVE YOU RECEIVE WHEN YOU PRAY. AND AT THE MOMENT YOU PRAY AND TRULY BELIEVE FOR SOMETHING, INSTANTLY IT IS COMMANDED, IT'S DONE, BUT IT MAY TAKE A PERIOD OF TIME FOR WHAT HAPPENED IN THE SPIRITUAL REALM TO COME OVER INTO THE PHYSICAL REALM. BOY, THAT IS REVELATION TO ME. THIS REVOLUTIONIZED MY LIFE BECAUSE, AGAIN, I BELIEVE THAT GOD HAD GIVEN PROMISES ON HEALING, PROSPERITY, JOY, PEACE, JUST, YOU KNOW, ALL KINDS OF THINGS. THERE'S THOUSANDS OF PROMISES THAT GOD HAD GIVEN US, AND I HAD PRAYED, AND I WAS TRYING TO BELIEVE, BUT WHEN I WOULD PRAY, I DIDN'T SEE OR ALWAYS FEEL LIKE I HAD MY ANSWER, AND SO MY FIVE SENSES WERE JUST IMMEDIATELY TELLING ME IT DIDN'T WORK, IT DIDN'T WORK. AND I WAS STRUGGLING WITH THIS. AND WHEN I UNDERSTOOD THAT IT'S A PROCESS AND THAT WHEN GOD COMMANDS, IT MAY BE A SHORT PROCESS OF ONLY THREE MINUTES LIKE WITH DANIEL HERE, OR IT COULD BE A LONGER PROCESS OF THREE DAYS OR THREE WEEKS OR WHATEVER. BUT THERE IS A PROCESS FROM WHEN GOD GIVES THE COMMAND UNTIL YOU SEE THE PHYSICAL MANIFESTATION. WHEN I SAW THAT, IT CHANGED MY THINKING AND IT ALLOWED ME TO CONTINUE IN FAITH AND BELIEVE EVEN THOUGH I COULDN'T SEE IT, TASTE IT, HEAR IT, SMELL IT, OR FEEL IT. EVEN THOUGH THERE WASN'T PHYSICAL PROOF OF IT, I KNEW THAT THE ANSWER WAS IN THE PIPELINE. I KNEW THAT IT WAS ON ITS WAY, JUST LIKE THIS MESSENGER, GABRIEL. MAYBE HE WAS ON THE OTHER SIDE OF THE UNIVERSE, AND IT TOOK THREE MINUTES FROM THE TIME GOD SPOKE TO HIM FOR HIM TO GET TO DANIEL. MAYBE IT TOOK, MAYBE HE WAS RIGHT THERE BESIDE DANIEL, BUT MAYBE IT TAKES THREE MINUTES FROM SOMETHING THAT'S IN THE SPIRITUAL TO GET INTO THE PHYSICAL. I DON'T KNOW WHAT WAS HAPPENING, BUT IT SETS A PRECEDENT THAT ALLOWS ME TO UNDERSTAND THAT WHEN I ASK FOR SOMETHING, GOD DID IT. IT'S A DONE DEAL. IT'S NOT A QUESTION OF WILL HE DO IT, AND THEN I SEARCH IN THE PHYSICAL TO SEE, AND IF I CAN'T SEE IT, THEN I THINK, WELL, GOD, WHY HAVEN'T YOU DONE IT? NO, GOD ANSWERS EVERY PRAYER INSTANTLY. NOW, WHETHER YOU SEE IT INSTANTLY IS A SEPARATE THING. AND WHEN I SAW THAT, MAN, IT JUST ALLOWED ME TO BELIEVE THAT THERE'S THINGS GOING ON THAT I CAN'T SEE. YOU KNOW, IN THE, in the NATURAL REALM, IF A PERSON HAD NEVER BEEN EXPOSED TO WIRELESS TECHNOLOGY, AND IF THEY ONLY THOUGHT THAT THE ONLY WAY YOU COULD CONDUCT A AUDIO OR A VIDEO SIGNAL WAS THROUGH SOME KIND OF CORD, AND IF THEY HAD NEVER BEEN EXPOSED TO ANYTHING ELSE, AND THEN ALL OF A SUDDEN YOU GIVE THEM A WIRELESS MICROPHONE AND THERE'S NO CORD, AND YOU TELL THEM TO TALK AND THAT IT'LL BE AMPLIFIED, MAN, IT WOULD JUST, THEY WOULD, IF THEY DIDN'T SEE A DEMONSTRATION AND PROVE IT, I GUARANTEE YOU, A PERSON WHO HAD NEVER SEEN THAT TECHNOLOGY WOULD SAY, HOW'S THIS GOING TO HAPPEN? HOW'S IT GOING TO BE TRANSMITTED? SEE, WE'VE GROWN UP WITH THIS. OF COURSE, I DIDN'T. Uh, I'M OLD ENOUGH TO REMEMBER WHEN THERE WAS NO SUCH THING AS WIRELESS TECHNOLOGY, BUT MANY OF YOU WATCHING THIS, YOU'VE JUST GROWN UP WITH IT AND YOU JUST TAKE IT FOR GRANTED BECAUSE YOU'VE SEEN IT DEMONSTRATED SO MANY TIMES. BUT IF YOU TOOK A PERSON THAT HAD NEVER SEEN THAT, IT WOULD JUST BOGGLE THEIR MIND. BUT AFTER A WHILE, IF THEY BEGIN TO UNDERSTAND THAT THERE'S THINGS THAT ARE BEING TRANSMITTED THROUGH THE AIR THAT YOU CAN'T SEE, WITH YOUR PHYSICAL EYES. YOU CAN'T HEAR WITH YOUR PHYSICAL EARS. YOU CAN'T FEEL THEM IN YOUR BODY, BUT THEY DO EXIST. If, IF A PERSON UNDERSTANDS THAT, WELL, THEN THEY JUST ACCEPT THIS AND THEY USE THAT TECHNOLOGY, NO PROBLEM. ONCE YOU BEGIN TO UNDERSTAND THAT FROM THE MOMENT GOD COMMANDS SOMETHING UNTIL IT BECOMES PHYSICALLY MANIFEST, THINGS ARE HAPPENING, BUT THEY'RE HAPPENING IN AN UNSEEN REALM. JUST BECAUSE YOU CAN'T SEE IT DOESN'T MEAN NOTHING IS HAPPENING. ONCE YOU GET HOLD OF THIS TRUTH, IT JUST GIVES YOU THE ABILITY TO BE PATIENT AND TO RECOGNIZE THAT, GOD, I KNOW YOU'VE ANSWERED MY PRAYER. I CAN'T SEE IT. I DON'T KNOW WHY, BUT I KNOW YOU'VE ANSWERED MY PRAYER, AND YOU'RE ABLE TO STAY IN FAITH EVEN WHEN YOUR FIVE SENSES AREN'T VERIFYING THAT WHAT YOU PRAYED FOR HAS COME TO PASS. BOY, THIS HAS BEEN A TREMENDOUS BLESSING TO ME. 
And so as you continue on in the 10th chapter of the book of Daniel, here is the same man praying a prayer. And the reason I like to use Daniel, there's other examples of this in Scripture, but the reason I like to use Daniel is because sometimes when I tell you what has happened for me, you look at what happens to me and then you look at your experience and you say, well, you're a preacher or you're a super duper or you know, sometimes we just think that there are some people that God loves more than others and He will do things for them, but He won't necessarily do them for me. But you can't say that about Daniel. Here's the same man praying another prayer in the 10th chapter, and this time he got much worse response. It was not near as good, and it was the same man. And if anything, his faith should have been stronger in the 10th chapter than it was in the 9th chapter because he had an angel, Gabriel, appear to him and tell him these things. He had experienced a miraculous answer from God, so his faith should have been stronger in the 10th chapter than it was in the ninth chapter, and yet he got worse results. So this is really good because, again, some of you might think, well, this works for you, but it won't work for me. Here's the same guy that got different results. And let me just tell you this, it wasn't Daniel that was the variable, and it wasn't God who was the variable. There was a demonic power that fought against him in the 10th chapter. But it does set a precedent that there can be varying amounts of time in between when you say amen and there it is. And it's not always you that's causing it. It's not ever God that causes the variable. And it could be that you had a demonic opposition that you didn't have before. Again, most people, see, they just think in the physical realm and they only think of what they can see, taste, hear, smell, and feel, and they don't recognize that in the spiritual world, there are all kinds of things going on, and some of them we understand. We're going to get a little bit of understanding through comparing what happened in the ninth chapter to the 10th chapter of the book of Daniel, but I'm telling you, there are all kinds of things going on in the spiritual realm that you can't see, and I don't believe that we even have the capability of understanding everything that's going on. From our standpoint, all we've got to do is just know that when we ask, we receive. When we seek, we find. When we knock, it is opened unto us. Everyone that asks receives. Everyone that seeks finds. Everyone that knocks, it is opened unto them. We have to believe that we receive when we pray, not when we sit. We don't have to understand everything. Just take these truths, take these examples that I'm giving of Daniel, and know that when you ask for something, it's a done deal. And it's just a matter of time. It might be three minutes. It might be three days. It might be three weeks. But it is just a matter of time until what you received when you prayed comes to pass. And it will always happen if you faint not. You know, the Scripture says over in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, let me read it because I'm not sure I'll quote it exactly right, but the last verse, it says, Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. So you have to know that you, when you pray for something, it's working. And then it also says that in due season you shall reap if you faint not. I think that's Galatians chapter 6. But you have to know that if you don't quit, if you believe that you receive, and if you can understand that there's a spiritual world and things are going on in the spiritual realm that you can't see or understand, and you don't know what's going on, but you know that you receive, it's just a matter of time. If you don't faint, you will see those petitions that you've desired of Him. And for me, you have to understand these things. You have to take into account this spiritual world and recognize there's a process from when it happens in the phys spiritual world to when it comes into the physical world. If you don't understand this, you'll waver in your faith because you just believe that nothing happens that you can't see, taste, hear, smell, or feel. So again, here's Daniel, the same man, praying a second prayer in Daniel chapter 10. And in verse 2, it says, In those days I, Daniel, was mourning three full weeks. In the ninth chapter, it took approximately three minutes. In this instance, it took three full weeks. Man, that is a huge variance. 
THAT'S A HUGE DIFFERENCE. HE WAS PRAYING FOR THREE FULL WEEKS. I ate NO PLEASANT BREAD, NEITHER CAME FLESH NOR WINE IN MY MOUTH, NEITHER DID I ANOINT MYSELF AT ALL TILL THREE WHOLE WEEKS WERE FULFILLED, AND IN THE FOUR AND TWENTIETH DAY. SO IN OTHER WORDS, ACTUALLY, IT WAS, uh, IT WAS A COMPLETE THREE FULL WEEKS, 21 DAYS. HE WAS BY THE SIDE OF THIS GREAT RIVER, AND HE, uh, ANYWAY, LET ME JUST SKIP DOWN. THEN ANOTHER MESSENGER CAME AND SPOKE TO HIM DIRECTLY, AND HE FELL AS IF HE WAS DEAD. HE HAD TO HAVE SUPERNATURAL STRENGTH TO STAND ON HIS FEET AGAIN. AND IN VERSE 10, IT SAYS, AND BEHOLD, A HAND TOUCHED ME, WHICH SET ME UPON MY KNEES AND UPON THE PALMS OF MY HANDS. AND HE SAID UNTO ME, O DANIEL, A MAN GREATLY BELOVED, UNDERSTAND THE WORDS THAT I SPEAK UNTO THEE, AND STAND UPRIGHT, FOR UNTO THEE AM I NOW SENT. AND WHEN HE HAD SPOKEN THIS WORD UNTO ME, I STOOD TREMBLING. SO HERE IS DANIEL AGAIN GETTING A MIRACULOUS ENCOUNTER WITH THE LORD, SO MUCH SO THAT HE WAS OVERWHELMED. HE FELL ON HIS FACE AS IF HE WAS DEAD AND LITERALLY HAD TO HAVE GOD STRENGTHEN HIM SO HE COULD GET UP ON HIS HANDS AND KNEES AND HEAR THIS MESSENGE. AND SO THIS MESSENGER CAME AND SPOKE TO HIM. BUT LET ME JUST ASK YOU THIS. WHY DID GOD ANSWER THE PRAYER IN DANIEL CHAPTER 9 IN THREE MINUTES WHILE HE WAS STILL PRAYING? AND IN DANIEL CHAPTER 10, IT TOOK THREE WEEKS. YOU KNOW, IF YOU'VE BEEN WALKING WITH THE LORD AND IF YOU'VE PRAYED AND BELIEVED FOR THINGS, I BELIEVE YOU, you HAVE SIMILAR EXPERIENCES LIKE THIS. I CAN TELL YOU SOME THINGS THAT WHILE I'M STILL PRAYING, <laughs> GOD ANSWERS MY PRAYER. IT'S JUST LIKE, IT'S MIRACULOUS SOMETIMES THE WAY THAT THERE IS SUCH A QUICK ANSWER TO PRAYER. I'VE LITERALLY HAD IT HAPPEN WHILE I WAS STILL PRAYING. THAT SOMETHING SUPERNATURAL. I've, I'VE BEEN PRAYING AND ASKING FOR SOMETHING, and, AND THE PHONE RINGS WHILE I'M PRAYING, AND IT'S SOMEBODY WITH MY ANSWER TO PRAYER WHILE I'M PRAYING. THERE'S OTHER TIMES THAT I'VE PRAYED AND ASKED FOR THINGS, AND IT'S TAKEN LONG PERIODS OF TIME. I HAD A THING ON MY EAR THAT I NEVER WENT TO THE DOCTOR, BUT I'VE GOT A DOCTOR THAT'S ON MY BOARD, AND I HAD DOCTORS THAT CAME TO MY MEETINGS, AND IT TOOK SIX YEARS FOR THIS THING ON MY EAR, AND DOCTORS, with, I DIDN'T GO AND GET IT DIAGNOSED, BUT THEY OFFERED THEIR DIAGNOSIS. THEY SAID IT WAS A MELANOMA, AND uh, THEY SAID IT WAS A CANCER. AND ANYWAY, IT WAS BAD, and it, AND IT WAS GROWING AND SWELLING, AND IT LOOKED BAD, AND IT WAS BLEEDING. MY OWN SON SAID, BOY, THAT THING IS ANGRY LOOKING. Uh, AND ANYWAY, IT TOOK SIX YEARS. I'M NOT BLAMING GOD FOR THAT. I THINK A LOT OF IT IS. I JUST DIDN'T CARE ABOUT IT. DID YOU KNOW WHAT? I, don't, I CAN'T SEE MY EAR RIGHT NOW. <laughs> AND I DON'T SPEND A LOT OF TIME IN FRONT OF THE MIRROR, AND I HONESTLY NEVER WAS BOTHERED ABOUT IT. IT NEVER WAS A BIG DEAL TO ME, AND I THINK ONE OF THE REASONS IT MIGHT HAVE TAKEN SIX YEARS IS BECAUSE I JUST DIDN'T GIVE A LOT OF PRIORITY TO IT. BUT NONETHELESS, THAT THING WAS THERE FOR SIX YEARS. NOW IT'S TOTALLY GONE. THERE'S NOTHING WRONG. MY EAR, YOU COULDN'T TELL ANY DIFFERENCE. I DIDN'T GO TO THE DOCTOR. I DIDN'T HAVE IT CUT OFF. I DIDN'T HAVE ANY TREATMENTS. AND SO ANYWAY, I'VE HAD SOME OF MY PRAYERS WHILE I'M STILL PRAYING GET ANSWERED. OTHER THINGS, LIKE THAT THING ON MY EAR, IT TOOK SIX YEARS. AND SO THIS RAISES A QUESTION, AND I KNOW MANY OF YOU PROBABLY HAVE SIMILAR RESULTS, AND YOU'RE ASKING, WHY, GOD, DID YOU ANSWER THIS PRAYER SO QUICKLY, AND THIS ONE, IT TOOK SO LONG? DID YOU KNOW THAT THAT, that QUESTION IS AN INVALID QUESTION? AND I KNOW SOME OF YOU THINK, WELL, WHY ARE YOU SAYING THAT? BECAUSE LOOK AT THIS. AS WE CONTINUE TO READ, WHEN THIS MESSENGER FINALLY SPOKE TO DANIEL, LOOK AT WHAT HE SAID. HE SAID IN VERSE 11, O DANIEL, A MAN GREATLY BELOVED, UNDERSTAND THE WORDS THAT I SPEAK UNTO THEE, AND STAND UP RIGHT, FOR UNTO THEE AM I NOW SENT. AND WHEN HE HAD SPOKEN THIS WORD UNTO ME, I STOOD TREMBLING. AND HE SAID UNTO ME, FEAR NOT, DANIEL, FOR FROM THE FIRST DAY THAT YOU DID SET THINE HEART TO UNDERSTAND AND TO CHASTEN THYSELF BEFORE THY GOD. THY WORDS WERE HEARD, AND I AM COME FOR THY WORDS. SO YOU KNOW WHAT HE SAID? HE SAID FROM THE FIRST DAY. GOD DIDN'T WAIT 21 DAYS TO ANSWER HIS PRAYER. HE ANSWERED HIS PRAYER THE VERY FIRST DAY. AND SINCE JESUS IS THE SAME YESTERDAY, TODAY, AND FOREVER, HEBREWS CHAPTER 13 SAYS THAT, SINCE JESUS IS THE SAME, AND IT SAYS IT HAPPENED ON THE FIRST DAY, I BELIEVE IT'S EXACTLY LIKE IN THE ninth CHAPTER. IT WAS PROBABLY AT THE BEGINNING OF THE PRAYER ON THE VERY FIRST DAY. GOD WAS THE SAME IN BOTH OF THESE INSTANCES. GOD DID NOT ANSWER ONE PRAYER IN THREE MINUTES AND THE OTHER PRAYER IN THREE WEEKS. HE ANSWERED BOTH PRAYERS INSTANTLY. 
BUT ONE PRAYER WAS MANIFEST IN THREE MINUTES, AND THE OTHER the ANSWER TO PRAYER WAS MANIFEST IN THREE WEEKS. BUT GOD WASN'T THE VARIABLE. I TELL YOU, THIS IS PROFOUND, WHAT I'M SAYING. THERE'S SOME PEOPLE THAT WILL HEAR ME GIVE A TESTIMONY ABOUT HOW GOD ANSWERED MY PRAYER NEARLY INSTANTLY, AND YOU'LL LOOK AT THAT, WELL, I HADN'T GOD ANSWERED MY PRAYER INSTANTLY. HE DID. IF YOU ASKED, YOU RECEIVED. IF YOU SOUGHT, YOU FOUND. IF YOU KNOCKED, IT WAS OPENED UNTO YOU. GOD ANSWERED YOUR PRAYER, BUT THE LENGTH OF TIME IN BETWEEN WHEN GOD MOVES AND WHEN YOU SEE IT IS NOT TOTALLY UP TO GOD. THERE'S VARIABLES. YOU COULD GET INTO UNBELIEF IF YOU DON'T UNDERSTAND THE THINGS WE'RE TALKING ABOUT. YOU PRAY, AND IF YOU DON'T UNDERSTAND THAT THERE IS A PROCESS FROM WHEN IT'S DONE IN THE SPIRIT UNTIL IT BECOMES MANIFEST IN THE PHYSICAL, IF YOU DON'T UNDERSTAND THAT, WELL, THEN YOU COULD GET INTO UNBELIEF AND IT SAYS, IN DUE SEASON YOU WILL REAP IF YOU FAINT NOT. IF YOU FAINT BECAUSE YOU DON'T SEE IT AND THEREFORE YOU THINK, WELL, GOD, YOU HAVEN'T MOVED, YOU STOP THE FLOW, THIS PROCESS. YOU STOP THE PROCESS OF COMING FROM THE SPIRIT INTO THE PHYSICAL BECAUSE YOU GOT INTO UNBELIEF AND YOU DIDN'T RECEIVE, YOU DIDN'T BELIEVE THAT YOU RECEIVED WHEN YOU PRAYED, ACCORDING TO MARK CHAPTER 11, VERSE 24. SO THAT COULD BE ONE OF THE REASONS. GOD ANSWERS ALL PRAYERS. ANYTHING THAT IS PRAYED ACCORDING TO HIS WILL, WE KNOW THAT WE HAVE IT. 1 JOHN CHAPTER 5, VERSE 14. THIS IS A CONFIDENCE THAT WE HAVE IN HIM, THAT IF WE ASK ANYTHING ACCORDING TO HIS WILL, WE KNOW THAT HE HEARS US. AND IF WE KNOW THAT HE HEARS US, THEN WHATSOEVER WE ASK, WE KNOW WE HAVE THE PETITIONS THAT WE'VE DESIRED OF HIM. SO WHEN YOU PRAY, GOD ALWAYS ANSWERS. BUT WHETHER YOU SEE IT MANIFEST IN THE PHYSICAL IS DEPENDENT UPON A NUMBER OF THINGS. ONE OF THOSE THINGS IS, ARE YOU ABLE TO BELIEVE THAT GOD HAS DONE SOMETHING EVEN IF YOU CAN'T SEE IT, TASTE IT, HEAR IT, SMELL IT, OR FEEL IT? CAN YOU BELIEVE THAT THERE IS SOMETHING HAPPENING IN THE SPIRITUAL REALM THAT YOU CAN'T PERCEIVE WITH YOUR LITTLE PEANUT BRAIN? AMEN. CAN YOU BELIEVE THAT A MICROPHONE CAN TRANSMIT A SOUND THROUGH THE AIR THAT YOU CAN'T SEE ANYTHING PHYSICAL THAT'S HAPPENING? CAN YOU BELIEVE THAT SOMETHING HAPPENS BEYOND YOUR ABILITY TO PERCEIVE IT? SEE, IF YOU CAN'T DO THAT, WELL, THEN YOU AREN'T IN FAITH, AND THE MOMENT YOU GET OUT OF FAITH, YOU JUST STOP THE FLOW OF WHAT'S ALREADY TRUE IN THE SPIRITUAL REALM FROM COMING INTO THE PHYSICAL REALM. MAN, that's, THAT'S ONE THING. NOW, IN THIS INSTANCE, IN DANIEL CHAPTER 9 AND CHAPTER 10, DANIEL WASN'T THE VARIABLE. IT WASN'T THE FACT THAT HE QUIT BELIEVING, AND that, THAT WASN'T WHAT DELAYED THIS PRAYER FOR 21 DAYS. BUT IT ALSO WASN'T GOD. SO DANIEL AND GOD, NEITHER ONE WERE THE PROBLEM. WHAT OTHER OPTION COULD THERE BE? WELL, I'M OUT OF TIME TODAY. I'M GOING TO HAVE TO ANSWER THIS TOMORROW AND I TELL YOU, IF YOU CAN UNDERSTAND THIS, IT WILL MAKE A HUGE DIFFERENCE IN THE WAY YOU PRAY AND BELIEVE AND RECEIVE FROM GOD. I'M OFFERING THIS LITTLE BOOKLET ENTITLED, WHAT TO DO WHEN YOUR PRAYER SEEM UNANSWERED. THIS COMING FRIDAY IS GOING TO BE MY LAST DAY TO OFFER THIS, AND IT'S A FREEBIE. WE'RE GIVING THIS TO YOU AS A FREE GIFT. I ALSO HAVE THE ENTIRE TEACHING, WHICH WILL INCLUDE ALL OF THIS, BUT IT'LL GO INTO MUCH MORE DETAIL, COVER THE WHOLE SUBJECT ON A BETTER WAY TO PRAY. I HAVE THIS IN ENGLISH, AND IN SPANISH, WE HAVE STUDY GUIDES, WE HAVE CD'S, WE HAVE DVD'S, WE HAVE A USB. WE'VE GOT JUST A LOT OF MATERIALS ON THIS, AND I PROMISE YOU, THIS COULD BE A GAME CHANGER FOR YOU. SO PLEASE TAKE ADVANTAGE OF IT. I PROMISE YOU, THIS IS ONE OF THE MOST IMPORTANT THINGS GOD EVER SHOWED ME, AND I'M GETTING BETTER RESULTS THAN I USED TO IN PRAYER. SO PLEASE LISTEN TO OUR ANNOUNCER AS HE GIVES YOU THIS INFORMATION, AND PLEASE CALL OR WRITE TODAY TO REQUEST THESE MATERIALS. I'VE GOT SOME GREAT NEWS TO SHARE WITH YOU, AND THAT IS THAT Karis BIBLE COLLEGE IS JUST BURSTING AT THE SEAMS. WE ARE NOW ACTUALLY OVER 1,100 STUDENTS ON CAMPUS, AND ABOUT, uh, I THINK IT'S 8,000 OR SO THAT ARE WORLDWIDE. AND AS A RESULT, THE LORD HAS SPOKEN TO ME AND TOLD ME THAT IT'S TIME THAT WE'VE GOT TO BUILD STUDENT HOUSING, A STUDENT ACTIVITY CENTER, A uh, ATHLETIC CENTER, A HOTEL AND CONFERENCE CENTER, AND A PERFORMING ARTS CENTER IN ORDER TO BE ABLE TO ACCOMMODATE THIS GROWTH. SO I HAVE A PLACE ON OUR WEBSITE, awmi.net slash campus, THAT IF YOU GO THERE, YOU CAN SEE AN ARTIST RENDERING. WE ACTUALLY HAVE A FLYOVER WHERE YOU CAN SEE THE ENTIRE CAMPUS. YOU CAN GO INSIDE OF THE BUILDINGS AND SEE WHAT THEY'RE GOING TO LOOK LIKE, AND IT'S GOING TO BE AWESOME. 
And also, I'm asking people to join with me. You know, we are making a difference. We live in a woke culture. Satan is trying to destroy not only Christianity, but the foundation of this nation, which is linked to Christianity. And I believe that raising up disciples is the only way we're going to see this thing turned around. It's not just a physical answer. It's a spiritual answer. So we are doing our part here at Karis Bible College. I believe it's becoming a dominant factor. But in order to continue to expand, we've got to accommodate these students. So I ask you to go to that awmi.net slash campus and look at our proposed building plans for the next 10 years. And we need people to stand with us on a monthly basis. I ask you to pray about it. If God has blessed you, if this is helping you, help us to help other people. And in turn, they will go out and make a huge difference in this nation. God bless you. Remember, it's awmi.net slash campus. Andrew is offering his booklet, What to Do When Your Prayers Seem Unanswered, as his free gift to you today. This booklet is limited to one free booklet per household. This offer is available in the U.S., U.K., Canada, and Australia. Contact us today to receive your free booklet. Andrew's complete series, A Better Way to Pray, is available in a book and study guide in either English or Spanish. Or you can get this teaching in a newly updated CD or DVD album or as a USB made from our daily television broadcast. Each of these valuable resources is available for a gift of any amount when you contact us. Andrew is also offering this teaching as an audiobook on CD or it can be purchased through audible.com. This entire series is also available for audio download absolutely free from our website. We also want to remind you of Andrew's Living Commentary software. The Living Commentary includes more than 50 years of Andrew's Bible study notes and personal encounters with God. Get Andrew's Living Commentary today for $120. You can become a Grace Partner through our website at awmi.net. While there, you can discover more product details and download additional free resources. You can also order resources or receive prayer by calling our helpline at 719-635-1111. Our helpline is open 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. To write us, use the address on your screen. We appreciate your generosity and hope to hear from you today. I'd like to give you a special invitation to come to our 2023 Healing is Here conference. It's August the 8th through the 11th here in Woodland Park. And I'll not only be speaking along with Carrie Pickett, Greg Moore, Carly Terradez, Daniel Amstutz, our staff here that ministers on healing a lot, but this year we have Benny Hinn coming to be with us for two days. And so this is just going to be a great time. We'll see a lot of miracles happen. I would encourage you to come and be a part of it. Remember, it's August the 8th through the 11th in Woodland Park, Colorado, Karis Bible College for our 2023 Healing is Here.